What a glorious day it is. Thank you, Reverend Arlene Hilton. What a magnificent day it is. Just confuse the parts of your being that are stagnant in fear and doubt and worry. Confuse those parts with praise. Give thanks. Be joyful. Be of good cheer. Be grateful. And all the parts of your mind that are incoherent, that are not in tune with the fundamental harmony of the universe, will be a little bit confused at your praise phrase. Ultimately, I'm just doing a little tongue-in-cheek aspect of life to let you know that when you begin to wake up and say, it's a glorious day, it's magnificent, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, your attention starts to pull away from the condensed thought forms that have congealed into human experience, maybe your personal human experience, or the human experience of the collective, the human race, and you'll begin to vibrate at a higher frequency, and though your eyes will continue to allow you to see the condensation of thought form that has congealed as human experience, your heart will begin to beat with the awareness of your oneness with pure spirit. The power, the presence, and the love of God, almighty, all beauty, all joy, all intelligence, the life that is formless, infinite, everywhere present, your life. You enter into the way of meditation service, and you enter into the way of meditation on a daily basis, that you may open yourself up to be a candidate for supreme insight and revelation, and that the supreme affirmation, I am that I am, I am that. The supreme affirmation of life itself begins to be where you vibrate at so that ultimately you're able to walk in the carcass of the past which is masquerading as the present congealed thoughts were, that have condensed themselves to experience were once thoughts, were once opinions, were once points of view, were once perceptions, were once perspectives, were once positionalities that have congealed themselves into experience, so they are the carcass. Uh, they are masquerading as a present moment, but they are the past that's just congealed themselves into present. You'll be able to walk through the carcass of congealed thoughts, but be of the timeless, eternal presence of God Almighty. Now, of course, if you are new to the teachings, or new to Agape International Spiritual Center, you may hear me use the word God and you may think that I am using, uh, uh, meaning the same thing that our traditional religions have used over years and decades and decades and decades. Kind of a man like God that's in the sky that uh, it's fickle, that uh, changes up on itself, gets angry, uh, has chosen people, things of that particular nature. But that would be so far and distant from the truth. The truth is that the presence and the power and the love of God is just that, presence, which is why Jesus the Christ said, we must worship God in spirit and in truth, you see. Presence, not an absence, not a man. So with the way of meditation showing the way, your spiritual faculties become activated and that which is invisible yet indivisible from you. Your spiritual faculties catch that which can't be seen by the five senses, can't be felt, touched, smelled, heard by the five senses, ultimately becomes more real to you than the very chairs you're sitting on. Now, this is very important because by you entering into this teaching and into the way of meditation service, you're coming into the great minority of the planet. And that is you're saying to yourself that what is important to you, what's becoming priority, is your soul development, what's becoming priority is your awakening, what's becoming priority is your becoming conscious of the realm of the divine within you, 
And that's not necessarily the priority of all of humanity. Even people who go to church that have a high degree of religiosity and maybe go every Sunday or something to that matter, oftentimes they don't even have a desire to wake up, to have a conscious union with the presence of God. They instead, you know, follow man's rules based on the interpretation of the great teachers. Not you. If you're comfortable in this field, you're seeking to wake up to your, and have a conscious contact with the presence as all of the great teachers have spoken about and taught and been shining examples of. Now that's a minority. But I'll tell you this, it's kind of an underlying theme of my teachings that if you do not become, mm, make this a priority, put yourself in a position to be a candidate for insight, discovering the realm of the divine within you, with the awareness that you have limitless potential, is if you live in a field of infinite possibilities, that if you don't walk on this path, I'm not talking about joining a cop, I'm just saying walking on the path of awakening, then you would be called or we would be called undeveloped. In other words, we would leave the planet, maybe developing the body temple, which is necessary. Maybe developing our entrepreneurial skills, beautiful, necessary, if that's our lot. Maybe developing the, 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 uh, the, the excellence around musicality, great. The God channeling through that. Maybe developing business acumen, great, magnificent, all stabilizing these structures for the, for the purpose of God, using those structures to express itself. But if you have not developed yourself spiritually, you are underdeveloped, and you have left all of this infinite potential on the table before you leave the planet. I say this, you know, kind of I'm exaggerating what I'm saying. It's almost a waste of an incarnation to come and develop all of the structures but not know God not be interested in awakening and realizing your oneness with God. Now, interestingly enough, you know, people come into this, uh, they say that pain pushes into the vision pulls or pain will drive you, grace will pull you. So oftentimes humanity basically grows through pain and suffering and then finally, oh my God, there's got to be a better way, there's got to be something beyond this mundane existence of eating and going to sleep and getting stuff. And so, what do we do? We sit on a regular basis and we catch the eternal broadcast that is emanating from the heart-mind of the infinite. As I say heart-mind, I'm keenly aware I'm using anthropomorphic description of a presence that is not human-like so that you can just catch, sometimes we have to use these words to catch that we're dealing with a limitless presence that we call sometimes divine mind. That's capital M. And when we say mind from that emanation, even from the Sanskrit language, when we use it that way, we're also we're speaking about heart as well. So it's the mind heart of the infinite. We catch from the mind heart of the infinite. There's an eternal broadcast of let there be light, let there be beauty, let there be intelligence, let there be life. Let it be everywhere. <sighs> everywhere, everything is teeming with life. It's a broadcast, and the only thing that blocks it is the static in our own awareness. Meditation assists you in cleaning up the static the pollution known as fear and worry, self-aggrandizement, and all the pollution that moves through human experience that has become normalized. I'm going to stop talking in just a second. But every now and then you have to look out at the world and you see what's been normalized. You know, hate. You see what's been normalized. You know, people 
end up hating each other because they have disagreements. They go on the internet and they air their dirty laundry over stuff that doesn't even matter. We've normalized. We've just we've normalized things that should not even be in existence. Weaponry and nuclear bombs and new ways to kill each other. It's become normal. People applaud when a corporation gets a contract to build more bombers. That's not something to applaud about. Well, it gives jobs. I'll say this. If you have a job building weaponry, you're responsible for all the weaponry that kills people when you pass over. That's a whole other conversation. But it's true. It is true. Even if you didn't even pull the trigger. You've taken responsibility to be a death wielder. It's another conversation, but planting a seed for a future dialogue. So, in substance, we are sitting to have an insight to catch the eternal broadcast, to allow ourselves to become fully mature, developed beings which is not atrophying our spiritual nature, which is the most important part. And all the things that we develop, as Reverend Coco is teaching in the life visioning process, the different structures of our life are used as vehicles, strong vehicles, to reveal the presence of God. So you're strong enough to carry the cosmic energy with the skills that you have developed to live your human beingness so that the presence can flow through those structures. Don't leave your potential on the table. Don't leave accumulating everything in the world and gaining nothing for soul development. You'll be sorry <laughs> with yourselves. There's no God judging you. Your, your own life will judge itself with lack and limitation on the soul level. And so, as I began, it's a glorious day. It's a wonderful day. It's a magnificent day. This is the day the Lord has made, commanding us to rejoice in it. And as we rejoice, it confuses those parts of us that are worried and doubtful and fretful and fearful until they begin to vibrate at that higher frequency. And you're walking in the world, but you're of the higher frequency. Let's sit so we don't forget. Take your shoulders and squeeze them to your ears so that you squeeze every aspect of your body. Just unrelax. The opposite of relaxation. Let's tense up. Face everything. Feet. Breath in. Hold it. Release. <sighs> so you've actually consciously done the opposite of what you want to be about right now. Hands facing down as a sign of bringing ever-expanding good, which is another name for heaven, to earth. We're bringing it to earth. We're not going to heaven. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're, we're becoming conscious of it and bringing it everywhere we go. So this is just a, a vibrational and physical, visual metaphor of bringing heaven to earth. We tap the space between the eyebrows as a sign of activation, activating our inner sight that we can see without eyes. The first eye is being activated. Touch our chest to activate the thymus gland for the immune system to be activated stronger. And we hit our heart space and say it's okay for us to be open to love. And 
And as we sit, we sit with the high intention of discovering and contemplating and developing our soul faculty to grow spiritually, to awaken to our glorious nature. This is why we are sitting, and yes, I know there are so many byproducts to the practice of meditation. Healing is a byproduct. Body temple coming into a coherence around wellness, blood pressure stabilizing, coherence of the brain happening, immune system balancing. So many beautiful, beautiful effects of meditation. Yet we sit to not forget and to always remember our oneness with the presence. We sit to wake up. we're sitting to wake up, just that intention of waking up, that intention of having a realization of our oneness with life itself, capital L life. That intention becomes like a rudder directing the ship of our soul to the north star of our being, conscious contact with the presence of God. Our attention is embracing the intention, the feeling of that intention, in the beginning the words of that intention, until every time we sit there's a, a living vibratory feeling tone of, I sit to wake up, I sit to commune, I sit to realize my oneness with said over the years we're now becoming rich enough to pay attention we listen as if someone was about to tell us a great secret our entire being is taunt it's available it's open to the eternal broadcast. And we sit, the awareness that this is our first time sitting, even if we are a veteran of meditation for many years or many months, we always sit as if this is the first in soak music that assist in eliminating the downward spiraling thought forms that we may be free to explore our spiritual nature at an ever purer level be still and know
paying attention to your intention and your breath because the breath is not in the future nor is it in the past your breath is a moment by moment present activity so you're able to stay present to your intention that that which is transcendent and spiritual may become active in your awareness your attention 
let it be. Embracing your intention to wake up, to commune with the presence, with your breath anchoring you in present moment.
with tremendous gratitude and thanksgiving and dynamic appreciation for life itself, for our existence itself. We open up the portals of our whole mind and we begin to see the vastness of eternity. God is everywhere. We recognize this presence and with every breath that we take, there's a repatterning of our life based on the divine pattern of infinite spirit. Our oneness with the presence is assured but now conscious. And the very word that is being spoken is the word of God, an announcement, a declaration, a decree, a supreme affirmation of that which is real and eternal for each and every one of us representing the one of us. Let there be life. Let there be beauty, let there be joy, let there be wellness, let there be well-being, let there be absolute abundance of the all good flowing through us right now. Allow this word to be a word and a law of elimination and disintegration to any thought form that would hinder, delay, obstruct, deny the fullness of life from moving through us that we may be free. Oh, it's all happening right now. We're not allowing our minds to get in our way. We're not allowing the repetitive thought forms of fear and gossip and negativity to influence us. No, our minds are now becoming whole vehicles for the perfect expression of God, a fiat of the Spirit. And this is a beautiful day. We just accept it. We accept the glorious nature of this day that the great law of the universe is made commanding that we rejoice in it. We rejoice in it. And we give thanks for it. And we allow it to be so. And so it is. And that's the way it is. Always. So be it. Amen. Amen. And Ashe. As we slowly open our eyes, we allow for our two eyes to join our inner eye being open that we may see. If you're with anybody there, meditating with them, wherever you are around the globe, you may just want to bow to the spirit of the living God within them and give thanks for the sense of spiritual camaraderie that's being developed in a transcendent way. We're transcending time and space, transcending the borders of our country, to have a moment of coherence around the fundamental harmony of the universe, the presence of God within us. Thank you for joining. This is our opportunity to be of great service to our own soul, great service to our own prosperity, and great service to our spiritual community, otherwise known as Agape International Spiritual Center. This is an opportunity where you get to share and shine and glow and radiate you get to activate your generosity muscles through tithing, through giving, through donation, through offering. And you can do it now. Don't be squeamish around this time of the service. This is where you want to just bust out of old paradigms of fear and lack and give whatever you can give today. <clears throat> and let it be a powerful gift because you infuse gratitude in the gift. So I invite us to turn within for a moment and give something right now. We want to give thanks. We want to give thanks for what we have to give. We want to bless it now and dedicate it to the knowing of truth that makes us free. That is the truth of our being that makes us free because the freedom is here intrinsically now being known through our spiritual practices. One of the practices being 
giving. We bless the gift. And we give thanks that we have something to give. And so it is. Amen. I always want to thank the wonderful veterans of our community that over the years have been giving, that we have a space to meet and to greet. And uh, so they've paid it forward for many people who are coming into this field right now. We want to thank the veterans for doing that and for their continued, consistent giving. Many of them give through the Auto Tithe program. You can sign up for that today right there on our website, agapelive.com. But let me tell you these three ways you can give right now. You can take your phone and you can text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. Go ahead and try it. Just take your phone, just text the word GIVE, G-I-V-E, to 424-321-6243, and you'll notice your phone will, will prompt you and show you exactly how to give. You choose the amount, you choose the regularity of the gift, and you can do it right now. If you want to mail your donation in, that's quite all right. We love it. I love going through the mail. Uh, you can mail your checks, money orders, to Agape International at 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. This information is on your screen at this moment, whether it be your computer, your television, your mobile device, it's right there on your screen. If you want to uh, go to our website and give there, agapelive.com, it says the word donation up at the top, eventually, follow the prompts, be a great giver. If you're on my personal Facebook page, if you're on Agape International Spiritual Center Facebook page, and I say that on purpose because other Agapes have propped up, but they're not necessarily Agape International Spiritual Center, so make sure you find the right one. And you can give on the Facebook page right there on that, use that donation a technology that's right there. So those are all the ways you can give. You can mail it, you can Agapeize it through the website, you can text to donate, you can Facebook it, we're called Meta. Now it's Meta. Everybody's catching up with our language. <laughs> We've been in metaphysics for a long time. And so uh, thank you for catching up, rest of the world. You can give right now. Coolio? Yes. Reverend Julie Moret, welcome back. <laughs> Good morning and happy Father's Day to you, Reverend Michael. And to all the papas in the house, you can visit agapelive.com for details on all the items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. When you combine quantum physics with a high intentional frequency, you get Soak Sound Frequency Therapy, a technology that lifts your vibration, detoxes lower frequencies, and assists in activating vibrant health, peace of mind, and total well-being. This is what you've been listening to, and it's available to enhance and enliven your meditation practice. Sign up at the premium membership level and receive 70% off. Uh, that's a discount off your first month by using the code AGAPE70. Go to soak.com, click on premium membership, and enter the code AGAPE70. Last call, if you missed awakening, <clears throat> excuse me, if you missed awakening, embracing your soul's purpose, a meditation envisioning virtual intensive, with Reverend Michael, register now and take advantage of the 24-7 access to the intensive archive. You can watch Reverend Michael's dynamic teachings, meditations, and visioning and activation as often as you like until August 11th. The last day to register is tomorrow, June 20th. Spiritual practice is at the core of what we do here at Agape. Reverend Michael holds these meditation intensives twice a year. They are to support us in cleansing and clearing our minds of false beliefs, expand and stabilize our field to hold more wattage so that we can live a more purposeful life. Today, Teen Agape meets online at 11.15 a.m. Click the Teen Agape banner on our website to register. And preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revleon at agapelive.com. The Agape Wise Ones invite our 50-plus community to experience expanding as the presence. That's at 2 o'clock today via Zoom. Click on the Agape Wise One banner on our website to register. 
The Crisis Support Clinic is open Mondays from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive Zoom information details for your first come, first serve appointment, email crisissupport at agapelive.com. Monday through Saturday, we will see you on Facebook, 8 a.m. for daily prayer, 12 noon for meditation. Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings meet Fridays at 5.30 p.m., connecting community for an enriching, inspiring gathering led by our practitioners and, and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com for the deets. Odyssey, Agape's Young Adults Ministry for those ages 20 to 35, meets Friday, June 24th, 7 p.m. Click the banner on our website to join. Contact Rev Arlene at agapelive.com with any questions. For years, Reverend Michael has taught about the components of good health healthy living. Our spiritual life is enhanced with daily meditation, affirmative prayer, and fellowship with open-hearted, like-minded people. Our mental and emotional body is purified with study, forgiveness, and high intentionality. And our physical body is taken care of with the exercise that fits our uniqueness, proper nutrition, proper hydration, and ideal supplementation. Speaking of ideal supplementation, Reverend Michael has finally released AdaptoZen in partnership with NutriRise. AdaptoZen is comprised of the various superfood formulas Reverend Michael has been taking for years to maintain his health and energy all condensed into one product line. AdaptoZen superfood greens and the vitamin D3 plus K2 drops boost your energy, mood, and immunity and give your body temple the high quality nutrients it needs to thrive so that you can maintain your health to live optimally as especially during times of high stress. Go to Nutrize.com, click on AdaptoZen, and get 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie. And thank you for those wonderful uh, texts uh, indicating how much you appreciated her speaking a couple of weeks ago as well. Anyway, as she indicated, um, you have been listening to the Soak technology. It's very powerful frequency that was birthed out of a uh, clinic, a health clinic, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they were able to now put these frequencies online. So there's many frequencies that deal with your health, that assist you with meditation, but also deals with physical maladies as well. So absolutely appreciate you. Let us turn within and give thanks for the supreme generosity that's occurring through the hearts and souls of all of the beings turning in, tuning in right now, whether it is this precise moment or whether it is a moment in which individuals will be watching this on the archive, we give thanks for the generosity, the givingness, the donations flowing that our consciousness of all needs met is amplified and all needs are met. For all of our ministries and programs and projects, staff and equipment that is necessary for us to birth a kind and just global society. Amen. You're hearing Charles Holt singing right now. Listen. It's a song written by myself and Tim McAfee Lewis. It's called I Forgive Me. I'm tired of the guilt that brings me guilt. Pain. This is not a spiritual technology. Now is the time Neither is shame or blame. The shame. They emanate from the ego. The past behind Keep you stuck me. as a victim. I see a new and so we forgive ourselves on a regular basis. We forgive for so-called others on a regular basis so that we can change and grow from a glory to a greater glory as a way of life and so we say I forgive me I forgive me everything that we've been holding on to we let go we surrender to the next stage of our own unfolding I'm ready I'm ready. Feel that in your own being. You're ready for transformation. You're ready for great change. Not just going through changes. We're changing from glory to greater glory. Mm. I forgive them. The so-called them. The so-called they. 
everything that we've been holding on to we let go now I surrender Woo. I'm ready I'm available I'm open and so we stand in this awareness of the benediction of this service with this strong music behind us uh, with our spiritual banners waving in the air I am that I am I am that presence of God personified is our life anchoring it on earth as it is in the heart mind of the infinite this is a glorious day we live it fully we give to it fully and we give thanks that in the mind of God it is done and unfolding through us forever and so it is Amen have a bright day. We'll see you at 8.30 a.m. and 9 o'clock a.m. for the worship and celebrative service.